back to my channel. Today we are getting ready, trying new products, reading your assumptions about me. How dare you guys assume those things? Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time. And I did something not nude, not neutral. I'm giving y'all color, still giving y'all a little bit of face, glowy face, and another amazing bomb lip combo. So yeah, I'm excited to chat with you guys, chat with you guys and crack on so let's get started with the video oh don't forget to subscribe like and follow me on instagram tiktok pinterest and like to know it now that we're all cut up let's get started with the video very very excited to get ready with you guys today there's so many new products that i want to try out things i've been loving and let's read your assumptions about moi we're going to be doing a foundation base cocktail taking my Laura Mercier hydrating primer the minute I start filming it happens every single time okay we're gonna start with a little foundation base cocktail taking my Laura Mercier hydrating primer and my plump and prime from Too Faced these two have been it for me the milk makeup great primer is also very very great but I have just been trying out new things so also guys my skin it is looking so good. I've only been using like two to three skincare brands, but super religiously. It's like they're killing my backyard. Okay guys, survived the murder of my lawn. We are doing great right now. So just got done with that. I'm going to be also prepping my skin for a nice glowy base. I have been obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It is so good, you guys. Um, I feel like I want to get a darker one, but I mainly apply it in the areas where I want to glow and just like thrive. You could also put it on as like a liquid highlighter, but I feel like it looks better for me personally underneath. And I love using this brush, it's Duo Fiber from Sigma. It is their F35 Air Brush. And you guys see how it just adds like a very nice luminous effect and look to the skin I'll basically just take whatever is left and run it everywhere amazing so now the skin is prepped and set we're gonna go in with my iconic London radiance booster and the shade I have it down below in the shade I have it down below this stuff is literally so good it's amazing so I'll do a pump of this in the back of my hand we're gonna try a new foundation today actually no i'm gonna stick to what i've been doing recently but i am gonna be trying some new products out i went back with my sheer glow from nars because it is really liquidy it's glowy it's great in the shade stromboli honestly it's so good so we have a little cocktail going on right now i'm gonna take my estee lauder foundation brush and here's like both of my product together and I'm gonna give it a good mix. I also have been loving my Dior foundation, but I wanted to try a new combo. And I feel like applying the foundation with a brush like this goes on super seamless. And you can just keep working that into the skin, really brushing that foundation on, or moisturizer, BB cream, Tinted moisturizer, whatever you guys like or prefer. So right now you guys see I have like the perfect coverage. What I'll do now is I'll take um, one of my favorite sponges ever. This is from Those of Colors, but I like to go ahead and dampen it with my Patrick Ta mist. I haven't even been using water because this mist is just so great. And then with that mist, I am pouncing the foundation further into the skin. I feel like with the water, sometimes when you wanna do like a very like glowy look, if you add too much water to the sponge, it can like further blend out the complexion and the foundation products and stuff. So I feel like it's like adding a little bit of tuckiness and glow with the setting spray really, really, really works wonder, so. Okay, so that's mainly like my biggest tip like for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the assumptions because y'all are actually assuming things that are not really, really bad. 
which is great, but you know I'm always here for the tea, so don't mind me. I'm doing my makeup as I chat with you guys. I'm gonna be going in with a new combo for my under eye. It's a NARS color correcting. I'll have it linked down below, but mainly I just apply like a little bit in here in the areas where you want it to just like brighten and correct. Let me show you this one more thing. And you guys will see how it looks just right after I blend it out. If you wanted to, you could use it as like a concealer, but I like to even go in and further like add my concealer of preference, but it does so much for the skin. Like look at my eyes right now, compared to like this other eye, literally life changing. First assumption is, girl, I thought you were white, to be honest, until I saw your past stories right now. Where are you from? So I am, so I'm actually born and raised in Puerto Rico. I am full Puerto Rican. Uh, all my family is from there as well. And I moved to the States when I was 12, to Florida to be exact. And I just now moved here to LA, but I am fully Hispanic not white i feel like that's the first time that somebody like assumes that because of my accent i feel like it's very hard to like give it away that like i am not white nothing wrong with that but actually i'm flattered like i always get flattered when people consider me to be like another like race or like culture like it just makes me feel good about myself another assumption another assumption you always try for a fun lip, but end up with all these nude lip combos. Honestly, guys, who doesn't do nude lips? Like, I feel like only for like a special occasion, you will see somebody wear like a bold, like colored lip. But honestly, like when I go out, I don't even see anybody wear like something other than like a lip gloss, chapstick, a gloss, or a nice nude. I feel like colored lip combos have like lost their moment. Like, no one wears like peaches or anything like that, at least the people that like I have followers around there with. Uh, maybe like colored glosses, I feel like, but not so much like lips. But honestly, like, I am so picky with my lip colors and all of that. And I feel like only nudes look good on me because if not, if it's too much color, I look like washed out, like more pale. And then if I do too light, I look like weird. <laughs> And I can do it too dark because I feel like when I do a lot of dark lip, it makes my lips look like smaller. And I don't want that. It like kind of like shrinks them in. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> Assumption number three, you have a genuine heart. I like to believe anything positive you guys say about myself. Um, of course, no one's gonna say that they don't have a genuine heart, but I am very truthful with my friendships. I'm very honest with myself and like whatever is like going on in my life. And I will love, I try to be a genuine person because in the industry that I'm in, it's kind of scarring to like meet people that are not genuine, you know? So it's like, I want to make sure that I never come off that way to literally none of my friends, anybody that meets me for the first time or anything like that, you know? Assumption number four, you didn't date much before finding Jason. I didn't. Like, I don't consider myself dating at all. Like, I was really, really young. I was 19 when I met Jason. And then that was it for me. We got married when I was 23. We did it for four years. Before then, I was literally a kid. Like, I was in high school. Like, I had like maybe two relationships. If that, maybe, I don't even know what was happening back then. But I wouldn't consider those like dating, which is like, you're just young and a teenager and like, you like somebody and it's cute or whatever. But yeah, no, I didn't. And honestly, like, not that I wish that I would have dated more. I'm happy with my choices, but I do wish that maybe I would have like seen what's out more just for like my own like benefit of the doubt, you know? So like when I have a daughter, like I'm definitely gonna encourage her to like go out and date more and like have some fun, but still be like super safe. You know what I mean? Assumption number five, you do everything with your Jason. Um, yes, girl, I do. Like even before we started working together back home, like we've just always done everything together, like running errands, things like that. Um, Early on in our relationship, Jason was always like there for me in every sense of the word. So like I just got used to him doing everything with me. So like I don't mind it. However, it's good to like have our own personal space sometimes, you know? But for the most part, yes, we do everything together. Assumption number six, you get angry when they call out your thick accent. I don't get angry because that's like 
Why am I gonna get angry about that? I just get bothered. I'm like, ew, like, I'm the only person that has an accent. Like, even if you're like American or like everybody, like if you're from like Georgia or like New York or like Cali, like everybody just talks differently. Like, so I'm just like, are you not cool? I get upset because it makes me feel like people are just not cultured enough. And I'm like, get cultured, get educated. Like, clearly you live in a bubble or somewhere because you don't live in the same world that I do. So that's my take on it. But yes, I do get, I guess, a little flustered. I lost count, but the other one is that you don't drink regularly, true. I started really drinking, especially drinking like two years ago. Um, I just started getting comfortable with it. I never really craved alcohol or like cocktails or anything like that. But now that I'm getting older, like, I don't know, it's just like I'm in a different place in my life right now. So like socially, like that's what people do now. It's not like raging, like parties and anything like that. It's just like, let's go out, let's go out for dinner. Let's have a nice cocktail, like a nice chat, like, it's just like have fun with each other and just, you know, kind of like let loose in a sense. So not to drink re regularly, but I feel like guys, even during quarantine, oh my God. Like that's when I was like, you know what? Let me see what's out here. Let me, let me get a taste of this. So I really love me some cheap wine, like barefoot is like my life. Like if I get a partnership with barefoot, I will be super content that like, I'm like, I made it in life. But yeah, now I like it. Like it takes the edge off and it relaxes you. Um, but I wouldn't, I've never been drunk in my life, guys. Can you believe that? I don't know what it's like to be drunk. I kind of don't want to know. People tell me I'm not missing out, but it's kind of like, should I experience it one time? But I just don't want to ever get to that point. Next assumption, loves family and friends. I feel like that is like part of just who I am. I feel like ever since I was very, very young, I always, had like friendships that were like family and vice versa like but I'll, it's also like that's just a security that your family and friends give you like that reassurance like those are your people and like you know i feel like everybody is like that um true people to as well in the family like you might have like your own personal like situations but i think family and friends are such a big part of my life and will always will be like even when i have like my kids like i want them to like love their friends and like treat them like family, you know? So yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. I don't know if it's an assumption or not, but someone asked if I got extensions. I just got tape and extensions all over and it's kind of like more brown, more of a natural color. I was kind of over like the blonde. I was like, get me out of here. Like I don't want to be blonde anymore. So we're definitely trying to like grow back the hair um, to its regular color. And then adding colored extensions will prevent from me having to like regularly have to dye it or like bleach it so i think it's a really good like remedy to grow out your hair have some fun dimension in it without like actually damaging it so yeah i am loving them so far like i still stand on like clip-in extensions i feel like i will always like wear them and have them in my life but right now i'm just too busy and like i got i just need my hair to look literally 100 every single day like i need my i need to wake up and my hair needs to give me give me energy and be there for me. I just don't have time to like be doing my hair, like making it look good. I literally woke up this morning, guys. I braided the front of my hair, and I didn't even like curl it or anything. It's honestly wonders. You know, sometimes in your life you're like, oh, like I feel like I just need to like get facials more often, or like I need to get my lashes done, or like have my nails done. For me, having my nails done and my hair, it's like everything. Now that I did my eyebrows, guys, I really have been loving this eyebrow pencil from Too Faced. It just makes it like super easy to do my brows. I'm gonna go in with the um, Tres Luce I Am palettes right here. Super pretty, so let's just like cook something up real quick. And next assumption, you're friendly and hype all your friends up. I am my friend and anyone's biggest cheerleader. Like, even if I meet you for like the first time, like, tell me your story. Like, I want you to thrive. Like, how can I help you? Like. How can I share something that I've been through to help you? Um, that's just kind of like what I love to do. Like it makes me feel good knowing that like I can give some, share something about my life to somebody else that might inspire them. And you know, like just like help them with either like a minimal thing or like a big thing in their life. Like I am just a real life cheerleader, I guess. Next assumption, you're a big people pleaser. Um, it depends what it is. Mostly no. I tend to let people just do what they gotta do, like, on your terms, and I'll do my own thing. 
I'm very good with like stating my opinion and like be like, actually, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, but if it comes to like my friends or if someone's really in need, like of course I'll be there. But for the most part, I'm like, figure it out, boo, because I figured it out. So that's kind of like how I see that assumption about me. It could be a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess I'm just kind of like stuck in the middle about that. Okay, the eyes are looking really, really good. I'm just literally adding like a little bit of everything. Just mixing like a bunch of like matte colors together. I feel like I haven't done a eye look like this with these colors. It's really, really pretty. And literally I use the same brush for all of them. I love it. My brushes are literally amazing. Use my code valet to save. Guys, I think I'm going to keep this like matte moment right now. I was thinking of doing like shimmer, but I feel like matte is just so pretty and sultry. Okay, going in with this like peachy shade. It's giving it to me right now. And all with one brush. This is the Sigma E40 Max. I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner from Kylie. I have a lot of her products here that I wanna try out as well. She used to like her whole new like formulas. Her brown eyeliner is actually goals, but I'm gonna do a little bit right now. I don't think I want to wing it today. I've been winging it like every single day. And I'm like kind of like tired of winging it out. So I'm just gonna like define the lash line so I could do like my lashes real cute. Also, this fill tip eyeliner. Wow, it was really, really, really dark. I love that for me. I apply some mascara. I'm taking my Mac Giga Black Lash Mascara. It's amazing. I'm gonna take the Trasluce Beauty Illusion Lashes in the shade Fantasy. So I'm gonna put this on right now and I'll be right back. Okay, next assumption. You grew up wealthy. I guess I'd rather say that I grew up like blessed. Um, my dad worked very, very hard. He still is working. Uh, he's always been like self-employed. My mom decided to just like be an amazing housewife and be a great like housekeeper and like just like a mom. That's what my dad wanted for anyway. So like my dad always provided for me and my brother anything that we needed. Like he was always there like giving us what we needed. But I wouldn't say like wealthy like financially like money is not an issue. Uh, but I'm just really happy and blessed to have had a really nice upbringing. I guess I can say that but I am pretty much like self-made. My parents never gave me anything. Like they never like gave me money to start this career or nothing. Like I have gotten to this point by myself, obviously like with Jason's help. But yeah, I would say that I grew up very, very blessed. You are a very, very hard worker. That I am. I will shout that to the top of my lungs. I, if I don't, se jodio. No, se jodio. I love this. Wow. Today's gonna be a great day, ladies and gents. I feel like if I'm not working, I have this constant fear of like falling behind. If I just don't post a day or I just like take it easy, I just can't, I can't manage. And I feel like I just have so much more in me to feel like, oh, I'm just not going to work for like a week or like a couple days. I'm just like, I can't, I can't, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep grinding. But it's like, I actually love to work. I think that's the difference. Some people are like, can I please clock out? And like sometimes I do feel that way. But for me, like even if I were to have like a normal job and like clock out, like even when I work like retail jobs, I will go out of my way to like stay longer and like organize some shelves or like do something or like just like help out or like keep doing something to grow the business, whatever that was. So yeah, if one thing I hope my kids have from me is the fact that they're like hardworking people. I sure hope so. You and your hobby makes friends easily. We actually kind of do because we always like putting people at ease or like we're just like really friendly like we're very like intentional like if we don't vibe like it's fine but we just want to like not drag things along so like we'll be as friendly as possible check out the people's vibes and then whatever happens happens usually we don't have an issue like everybody that we meet is literally amazing but yeah like i feel like that's one of the reasons why like we were comfortable to even like move out here by ourselves to LA because we know that we'll be fine. Like we're gonna make our circle, we're gonna meet our circle and like everything's gonna be great. I'm taking the new Kylie like products and even their packaging is like a lot more like elevated and I literally love that. Also this like peachy eye moment, it's super super cute. I'm keeping it very light on the eyes today but I mean, maybe y'all, I'm giving y'all a little bit of color. And also I just clean my brushes so the makeup is going on 
so, so seamless. You have less patience than Jason. Honestly, that's false. I have way more patience than Jason does. Jason is so short fumed, like, oh my god, like the littlest thing can like tick him off, even though he's so great and like personable. I have to be like, yo, like, can you chill? Like, can you like not get so like emotional and like, what's the word that I use that he hates? Passionate. I'm like, can you stop being so passionate for a minute? Yeah, he doesn't like when I when I tell him that he's being too passionate. Like when he's upset about something. It takes a lot for me to like get me like on patience. Like I'm just like, now that I have more patience, I'm just like unbothered at this point in my life i'm like you know what f it like i don't really care like if it doesn't affect me like if i'm doing okay like if it's nothing that to do with me i'm like i'm okay with it another assumption you get nervous when meeting all the la influencers so happy you're finally getting known by the way that is so freaking sweet of you like or like so genuine guys i get super nervous because like these are girls that like they're so influential and so amazing and that, you know, as most of us, you guys have been like following me and stuff, we've all followed the same people and the same girls since like YouTube became a thing. So like they've been the girls to look up to for like the past like six, seven years now. So I definitely get a little bit nervous, a little shy, but they, most of them always turn out to be like amazing and so great. I mean, think about it, like they all started how I started. Um, I've been so blessed to have meet so many like amazing influencers and they have just welcomed me in with open arms and like mentored me and just like being like really really good friends and like that means literally the world to me but yeah it's really intimidating like you know I'm like a small girl from a small town coming into like LA and like getting to know these amazing influencers it's just honestly such a blessing but also super super nerve-wracking Another assumption, you get annoyed fast with your hubby. Shit, we all do. Honestly, I was so funny. I was talking about this with um, my friend last night. And we were talking about how our husbands or like our partners get you so mad and irritated that you feel like your insides are literally burning. Like they're literally like on fire. Like you're just going to melt off your organs because you're so like hot and just pissed. I get very annoyed fast at him. I'm just like, you know what? Why can't you just like... Be who I want you to be. Like, come on, put the wires together, connect them because I can't do that for you. And that's on period. Okay, last one is, which is something that I could talk about actually because I have never talked about something like this before. Like, okay, to the extent that I'm gonna talk about it. Um, you don't work out or you're just naturally blessed. Honestly, I feel like that's a false. Not something that that, that assumption was like negative, but I gotta get some glow. I could say I have okay jeans, like they're not like, oh my god, like look at her body, like oh my god, body yada yada, like it's not like that. I am more on the thinner side of things where like the frame, but as you get older, your body changes so much and I can't be that person that's just like naturally blessed. Maybe when I was younger, you know, I feel like all of us had a lot of grades when we were younger, but guys, for the first time in my life, actually, not really, since I got out of high school, like what? six seven years ago oh jesus i have taken my health seriously now like actually wanting to work out and be like proactive and like get my body right and feel confident and feel stronger and just look good for myself for my husband like you know what i'm saying just feel good about myself i i lost that feeling like a long time ago and i can't believe it's taking this long to get back into it but i feel like to be honest being in la oh my god this highlighter look at the new formula like the new like um being in LA definitely put like a pep in my step when it comes to like my appearance because everyone here is just so like picture perfect not even like on socials but like in real life these girls here are beautiful so for me I'm taking it more as like a motivation thing than like comparing because obviously like you can't do that that's like so unhealthy but I feel like it's been a good motivation for me to get out of like that small town mentality like People are just not really like proactive like that, which is where I come from. So coming here and seeing everybody like, you know, look their best and be their best and always like fixing themselves up. It's just like very, very like admiring and I definitely get fueled by that. Okay, so that's all for the assumptions. That was really, that was really fun. Let's go ahead and finish up with the lips. Okay, I could never find the right shade of the Kylie lip kit. 
I remember I was working like my retail job when they launched and I couldn't even afford one. I think I ended up getting one. So it's pretty cool now, like full circle, you know? Ah! Okay, I'm taking the kit, Dolce or Candy Cake. Hope it's not too pink. Yeah, absolutely not. I can't do it. I mean, it's pretty, right? It's very gorge, but it's not gorge for my lips. Um, I'm actually gonna do this lip combo that I've been using on my Instagram when you guys are dying from About Face Beauty. I'm like super close to like the camera. Do you guys just see how like seamless that went on? Guys, I've also gone back to doing something that I haven't done in literal years. <laughs> years, years, okay? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So first off, let's just be more perfectionist these days, you know, with our makeup. I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I'm going around the edges of my mouth just to clean things up, make them look more posh. You guys see how it just makes it look super like nice and like crisp? It's the crisp lips for me. Que bella. Okay, another product from About Face. It's liquid lipstick. And just like the tiniest amount like this. You can take a brush or your finger. I'm gonna do a little brush moment. Tell me. When was the last time y'all did liquid lipstick? Because... It's been a minute for me. Guys, this will just last like all freaking day. Outfits. Dude, these products are so good. These lips will last me literally all day long. How we feeling? How we doing? Guys, this look is absolutely completo. It's done, finished. How do we feel about it? Are you guys happy I gave you something other than neutrals? Because you better be. Okay, because you guys asked for color. And here's color. Also, don't mind my chair from Ross. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Um, just his family got it when they were here when we had no furniture, so. It's my little Ross another chair that I use for my makeup. So comfortable, never getting rid of it. Well guys, that is it for this chit chat. Get ready with me, trying on new products, getting to know me a little more, me telling you guys what you said, what you assumed about my ass. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. As always, I will have all the products that I used linked down below for you guys. That is it for today's video guys. I love you so much. Muchos besitos y abrazos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.